Welcome back, CSC 103 or CSC 235 to part four of Rock, Paper, Scissors, spring 2018 version. And we basically just used conditional statements to from just one button, still working just with one button, but we have our conditional statements and that's displaying the message. We already have our code from our function that's displaying the images and based on whatever images they are in our conditional statements, a different message will display. Now, to make them look a little different, we're gonna color them. And maybe we'll do that right now. So we're gonna do that and then we'll even use a little CSS so that we can, um, we can make them change color a little bit so they look a little different. So they kind of, because they all just kind of, you know, look the same right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try something a little new is we're gonna make a variable that kind of shortens the beginning of this. So, so what we'll do here is let's, let's copy this. And what I'll do is I'll go for all my variables are, and I could do it after this one. And I'm gonna say var mess equals, I don't wanna say message because I already have a message. And let me just put a return here, it's a little different. And I'm gonna say var mess document get element by, by ID message. And that's all I want. You may say, well, what does that do? Well, what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna represent this so I don't have to type that. And it'll save me some time because what I'm gonna do is apply a color to each one of these. So then I could just say mess dot style dot opacity. So this variable basically represents getting that message, getting that ID. So you might say, well, what, what does that do? That doesn't do anything. Well then, okay, let's say if we win, we want our color to be in green. So instead of doing document dot get element by ID message dot style dot color equals green, we can go mess dot style dot color equals and then in quote we'll put green and we'll do it capitalized because that's the way they show them in HTML colors we'll use green and we'll just we won't use hex or anything like that we'll just use green we'll do that and then that's a lot shorter it's just easier to deal with and then if we lose it's going to be red so we'll change it to be red and that way it'll always be in that order so we don't have to be jumbling the colors around it'll always go green red and then for for tie we'll do blue and then I'll do blue here. So they'll just be standard RGB colors, RGB. And that means if we win, it's green. If we lose, it's red. And again, our variable just represents the first part of the statement. So it just kind of cuts off some, you know, it just makes things a little easier to type. And then if we do anything else with that, the font, anything, we could always just use mess dot whatever and change that a little bit. So let's see if this works. There we go, stalemate, that works, it's blue. Um, we lose because paper covers rock and it's red, so that's bad, we lose. And we win, it's green. So everything's working here. So the colors are working, that wasn't that hard to do. We just applied a color and we did it inside the conditional statement. So that means it's only gonna be green if you win, it's only gonna be red if you lose, it's only gonna be blue if you tie. That's why they're inside the conditional statement. So those are things that occur only when something happens. These things occur, the random number and displaying images, they occur every time you just hit the button. But after you hit the button, then these are the results of the certain conditions that came up. So that's good for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up for the rest of these. And what we can do is we can copy this function, the entire function, make sure everything's working. And I'll hit two spaces and then paste it. And make sure you know where you're at, make sure that's pick rock. And then this is gonna be pick paper because we're going in that order. And then is, this says, if you win with paper, we'll make sure that's if you win with paper. It's just a note to you. And on this one, what we'll do, all this will be the same except for this. Because if you're picking paper, remember this is pick paper, then this has to be paper image. So we'll change that first. So that'll change the one that displays. So now every time you hit paper, it'll display paper here. Doesn't work yet because we don't have the function attached to the button but our choice is gonna be the paper image. And now if you win with paper, they're gonna to have to have what? They're gonna to have to have rock because your paper is gonna cover their rock. So if you remember, we're starting with winning. So you're gonna win by them getting rock. And we'll keep it green. And it won't be win, winning with rock, it'll be winning with paper because you're winning with paper. So we'll change that to paper. We'll keep it green, we don't have to change that. And if you lose, you pick paper and you lose, they have to have scissors because scissors cuts paper. So we'll put scissors in there. 
and they win because they chose scissors because it'll say scissors cuts paper so that message will show up and then we don't have to do anything to the else so that was pretty easy now what we didn't do yet is we can copy this pick paper function and I could go to my HTML it'll be easier to probably copy this thing that I'd have more chance screwing this up I see more people making mistakes with this you know with spaces or non spaces so remember you do want spaces in between these different attributes in your HTML remember ID is an attribute on click is an attribute and it's running a function and it's going to running the pick paper function and I used capital P for paper for the pick paper function so make sure that is exactly like your function so if I save this there's stalemate what about if I pick paper oh they won because they cut my paper let me try it again stalemate lost again not doing a good job with paper there I finally win because paper covers rock so I won so these are working so that wasn't that hard it took me a couple minutes not even a minute to do so actually as long as I'm up here in my HTML let me copy this a third time and paste this in here and remove any extra spaces so they all kind of line up now that's not an extra space that's just because the paper's longer and I'll put scissors here and remember I used capital S for my functions because that's how I wanted functions to have that camel case and everything looks okay there I could stretch this out just to make sure and just double check these all look the same make sure on click is spelled right and everything so make sure they have the parentheses this has is showing up in white for some reason I'm not sure why oh now it's fine once I clicked off it, it went away so everything looks okay I'm gonna save it now I don't have a function yet for that so or at least I I do but it's not I didn't have it yet so you might even have an error if you showed it in a regular page so we got to make our function for that so but we have it all ready to go so I'm just gonna copy my previous one my pick paper function I'll copy that and put an extra space and paste that one and make sure where I'm at before you start changing things uh, you know make sure where you're at okay pa there's paper pa rock paper now this one's gonna be scissors so make sure you're on your third one and there's scissors everything else will be the same except this because you won't be choosing paper you'll be choosing scissors and it says if you win with paper this will be if you win with scissors and that's just a note for you that helps you figure things out and again if the first random number comes up and if you're gonna win and you pick scissors that means they have to have um, if you're gonna win they have to have paper because your scissors has to cut paper so in order for you to beat them they need to end up with paper make sure you get that right and you'll win because you have scissors not because you have paper you win because your scissors will crush their paper and that's green it'll stay green and then if you lose and you pick scissors they have to have rock yes they would have to have rock because rock would beat your scissors so we'll say rock so that's what they're gonna have if they get rock they beat you and the comp will win because they have rock and then the final one would be scissors equals scissors would give you the tie and that's already set up so you don't have to do anything for that so that's all set up so just double check pick scissors scissors image and then if you win you're gonna cut paper if you lose you're gonna get crushed by rock and the tie is if nothing else happens that's basically the the alternate so we have our three functions and in our HTML we have our on click set up for our three buttons and they should be working so let's just try this out we'll go rock 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 make sure you win lose and tie with each one and I'll try paper lose tie lose tie lose now I win now let's try scissors tie I lose because I get crushed tie I lose now I win because I could cut paper so all the scenarios are working so this is pretty good so in in some cases for the one 103 class we kind of stopped here uh, but what we're gonna do for the 235 class is continue on so we can actually get points and then reset buttons and do all that um, but but this is pretty good so far you could do some you know if you wanted to do any CSS or anything like that you could do a little bit you know I'll just throw a couple in here before I finish up this video I'll put in one for um, just these things here maybe I'll put in image label P class equals image label so I made them specific in case I wanted to change them so they're a class so I'm gonna do image label 
and I'm just going to give them a font and I'll just say I'll give them a serif font maybe I could just use I'll do font family and maybe I'll do one from here maybe I'll do a Google one from here now these aren't a lot of nice choices but they do have a decent uh, here's open sans and what do I have to do I'll copy font family and I'll put font family right here and I'll paste it and there it is and you know you could put Arial as another choice if you wanted if you but sans, that should be fine there's open sans now one thing you have to do when you do this I'll go back to open sans it says copy import you gotta copy the import or it won't work and you could put it right in the CSS just make it the first line in your CSS copy the import and that's basically saying use the open sans font so that's telling me to use the open sans font and I'm just using it for image label and then maybe I could use something else you know, there's, again there's not a huge a great choice here although maybe I could use Meriwether for for everything else um, I could use Meriwether for body and then you could go over everything else I'll close this up scroll up here close this up and you can see eh, maybe I want it bold now if I want it bold I could just do this because it does give me I think it gives me the whole family here open sans 400 400 I which is italic and 700 so it's giving me the whole family so what I'll do is I'll just say font weight the HTML for for the weight of being bold you could say bold or you could just say 700 since it has 700 up there we'll just say 700 and you can see it shows up bold now and that's fine and you could do it like that other things you could do if you want the buttons a little bigger um, I'll just go button and make a style for button and I'll put font size make that a little bit bigger I think you could start off by just doing 100% because that just might make the even that makes the buttons bigger and then even if you want to do something like this since they're right close to each other just say margin right and do like I don't know like 24 picks or something that kind of separates them a little bit a little distance between them that way you don't have to put like uh, you know non-breaking spaces and stuff like that and if you want a little distance you could do margin bottom and you could put a little margin below the buttons I think this should work okay that should put some space let's just see if this works I'll put like 12 and that puts a little space in between there now we don't have to put keep this background color here that was just to try it out so it's not that necessary that we have that so I don't I don't know if I necessarily have to do that yet so actually I might take that out and I might take out the background color because this was just um, and here's another thing you could do you could just highlight this and do command or control forward slash and it'll automatically comment that out and that way that's the way it'll look by default and you don't need these IMGs here either you know sometimes you could do like blue boxes so people know where they're gonna be but that's all you need now and one other thing I'll do here just to make it look a little nicer I'll put a body target and I'll just say margin and I'll put a margin kind of all around because it's kind of a little tight to the side like 12 picks that'll spread it out a little more maybe maybe I'll double that or maybe I'll make it 30 and that looks a little better it gives us a little margin around it and that looks okay and look at that looks pretty nice so everything looks okay we just messed with the fonts a little bit we could we could change these if we want but I think what I'll do is I'll stop here and then we'll we'll worry about uh, maybe doing a little more CSS but also focusing on points of kind of collecting points and assigning points as we go and then when points add up then we can disable buttons and we can then have to put a reset button to start over again so that'll make it a little more interesting but if you got this far that's pretty good this is part four and we're gonna stop here with part four and part five will cover the points and some of that stuff so if you only have to do the colors and all that you're probably good